Let's look now at how paging was implemented on the x86. So the first thing to know is that we have a register, CR3, and that points to the current page table. But x86 uses a two-level page table, so it's a multi-level page table, two levels, and it actually calls the first level a page directory and the second level a page table. So it actually points to the current page directory. Okay. This page directory needs to be on a 4K page boundary. So this is the page directory. And the page directory stores page directory entries. So we've, we have an address. Let's say we have a uh, virtual address. And this would actually be called on x86 a linear address. It's 32 bits, of course, and it's broken down into 12 bits for the offset. 10 bits now for the directory and 10 bits for the table. So 12, 10, and 10. So this is the directory index and the table index within the table that's found. So for example, if we have something that looks like, if these 10 bits are, you know, uh, let's say zero, zero. So I have five bits, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's say it's the number three. So let's just kind of look at this. We have a three here, we have a two here, and we have a 37 here. What would happen? What would happen is we would go to index three in the page directory, and we would look at that entry. Let's look and see what's in that entry. Well, what's in there is a page table um, physical page number. In our case, let's say that physical page number is mm, uh, hex 8.5. So that tells us that in physical memory, if we go out, and by the way, this is a 20-bit value. So this is 8.5. Zero, zero is where this page table now starts. So that's basically a reference to here. So the extra 12 bits are just filled in with zeros. And then what we get over here is a very similar looking table. It's the same size, in fact, but what are in here are page table entries. In particular, we will have a physical page number. So let's say this we use three as the index into the page directory, and now we use two as the index into the table. Remember, these are bits, and these are values. That is, these are bit widths. So 10 bits for the directory, 10 bits for the table, 12 bits for the offset. These 10 bits happen to be encoding three for the example I'm giving, two for this example I'm giving, and 37 for the example I'm giving. So three got us to this page table, physical page number, which is 85, okay? We appended 12 bits, so not quite zero, zero, in fact. So it's going to be, uh, I guess the way we'd look at it is 85 shifted left by 12. That's really what this address is, because the bottom 12 bits are zero. And then in here, We've got, let's say this is entry two, and our physical page number might be 
uh, OX53. And so then our resulting address would be OX53 shifted by 12 or with our 37 here. So that's how our two-level page table works. Each of these is four bytes wide, so we have 20 bits for the physical page number, and here 20 bits for the physical page number, and then we also have 12 bits for flags, and again, 12 bits for flags. And many of these flags are actually identical between the page directory and the page table. Now keep in mind this page directory may refer to many different page tables. Right? This just happens to be one of them that is responsible for this particular piece of the address space. There will be other page tables responsible for other pieces. So let's look at what those bits are. So some of the bits are present. So if the p-bit is not set, this is an invalid either page directory entry or page table entry. Writable. So that'll control if you try to write to something that doesn't have the right bit set, then that'll be an error. Uh, we have user. So user says, is this a user available page? or page table. So is it a user available entry, we'll say. If it's a user available entry, then it works in both kernel and user mode. But if it's not a user available entry, then it is only accessible in kernel mode. Then we have some extra ones here for the page table, accessed and dirty. That is, has it been read? If so, the accessed bit is one. Has it been written to? The dirty bit is one. That is the basics of x86 page tables. So we have two levels of page tables, page directories and page tables. What's the size of this, by the way? It's 2 to the 10th in height by 4 in width. So it's 2 to the 12th, which happily happens to be 4K. Right? because on x86 we have 4K page sizes. By default, there's ways to get larger page sizes, but we're not going to talk about that. So each page, each page directory, because remember every process has its own page directory and associated page tables, each page directory and each page table all fits inside a 4K frame, 4K physical memory, and again, has to be aligned. 